hit the new We Are You Radio skill, then say, Alexa, play We Are You Radio. Okay, playing We Are You Radio. It's my favorite station. We are you morning crew. It is the We Are You Morning Crew, ladies and gentlemen, and I am here along with my co-hosts, Nate, Jenna, and Nova. I am George. And Free Advice Friday is what we do each and every Friday, giving you the advice based on the stuff that you said. Now, look, we didn't get in your business. You sent your business to us. So don't get mad when we tell you what we think, because we know we're right. Even if you disagree with us, we're still right, because it's our show. <sighs> in the meantime, I'm sorry, I got a little emotion. You right. Yeah. yeah. You right, though. Right. I'm right, right, right. As you were saying, you right about us being right. 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 <sighs> Isn't right. it funny how you can say right so many different ways? Right, and it all means, and it means something different every time you say it. It's right. just like the. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like the N word, but uh, that might be inappropriate. Yeah, very. Anywho, uh, so we 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 got something odd with this one. It's not so much a letter as it is a description of a situation. Um, actually, you know what? Let me let me let me just let me just let me just read it to you, okay? Okay. Um, and I'm gonna read it as if it were a letter. Um, I think I can, I think I can make it work. I am a professional, <clears throat> I'm a professional voice actor. And so I will make this work. Here we go. Mm -hmm. My friend and I are both in college. We've known each other for a little over a year now. And I'd say we're pretty close. We're comfortable sharing personal information, worries, stuff like that. Sadly, a couple months ago, an accident occurred and he lost the use of his arms. Without going into too much detail, the effects are almost certainly temporary, and he's able to do basic things like dress and feed himself, but, but, but he can't button a shirt, turn a doorknob, or write with a pencil. I've helped him out with a lot of these things. He doesn't have any nearby family and doesn't really know anyone else here, which hasn't been a big deal because we just spend most of the day in our dorms and Zoom classes. Anyhow... We're both 20, and, well, you know how that is. He's not in a relationship, and apparently his disability makes it impossible for him to uh, masturbate. Oh! I, I can imagine that. He can make large movements like swinging a fork up to his mouth, but has trouble with the smaller movements you'd need for, well, that stuff. you know, yeah. uh -huh. masturbating. About a week ago, he seemingly jokingly suggested I provide some assistance. <laughs> I thought nothing of it. We're comfortable enough to say that sort of thing and not offend one another, but he's asked me again since, and it seems he's serious. I don't know what to say to this. Hell I feel no. really bad for the poor guy. I'm not repulsed, but it's one of those things that you aren't prepared to respond to. I'm just scatterbrained thinking about it, and I don't know what to do. I'm not opposed, but I'm not really sure how I feel feel about it we are you morning crew mm -hmm. whatever shall i do mm -hmm. so y'all jerking them off or no uh, <laughs> well it depends on how close we are i'm just saying but no seriously um sir you're at a crossroads so which means you're seriously concerning this i mean considering this not concerning this but you're concerned about considering this is what it really is um Ask yourself if that's what you really want to do. Um, mm -hmm. And if you want to do it, you do know you're going to be obligated to do it routinely after the first time. Now, I don't know what your relationship is. Clearly, if you feel comfortable enough, because it wasn't a direct no. It was like not. It wasn't a hell no. It wasn't like I'm never going to do that. You're like, well, maybe. So maybe you this relationship is going somewhere. You don't even realize it's going there. I, I don't know. My answer would be no. You better figure it out. I mean, I might put the little machine thing next to it. Here, you're close to the machine thing. Now stick it in. I'll be back in five minutes. You know, whatever. Um, But yeah, no. Um, you better get that boy a pocket pussy and go on. But you know, you have to be able to use that with your hand. But they have they have the automated ones now that you can just... Listen. Yeah. They He's do. a college student. He probably can't afford it. But um, it... it <laughs> <laughs> I think that not an absolute no is more of a sympathy thing. I don't think it's necessarily yeah. um, him trying to explore that side of his 
sexuality. It's well, like, assuming that it's a male, I have this no. This is true. I was going to ask they, you that. That was my yeah, first they, question. They, they George know, threw me off no with time, that. Yeah, at no time did they indicate what their gender identification is. So it could be, you know, but they're roommates they, though in college. They're, they're right? roommates yes, in the they, dorm, they're so they probably are I mean, both males. They could be, but I mean, it could be a co-op. Could I mean a co-ed dorm? We we all know. Yeah, but, but in any be, case, yeah. yeah. In either case, I don't think that changes the advice. At no, all, it does not. Right? It does like, not. You got to decide what your boundaries are, and it then you know, s- stick to whatever you're comfortable with. Just because he's and you said it's temporary, so right. because he's temporarily uncomfortable doesn't mean that you got to be uncomfortable for the rest of your time living with him. Because mm-hmm. even once he gets better, you're gonna have to look him in the face. Mm-hmm. You know, and what what is what is he gonna interpret that as? Like this could turn to something a whole lot deeper than just helping him oh. button a shirt. Right, like tell, it's it, tell him to rent a hooker. Yeah, I mean that's gonna forever impact your friendship. Yeah, there mm-hmm. you go. Buy more. There well, you go. but I, I think I'm a hooker. I, I think the the real important thing, and Nate, I'm waiting for you because I know it's gonna be interesting. Whatever you say, um, but the the important thing is to understand that this person is considering it. They haven't said no. You know, the, yeah. it's it's not a direct no. So you're considering it. So I'm going on the point. If you're considering it. You obviously see this relationship as something more than just I'm helping a person who is disabled. It's not like he made the he's not like he made the offer. It was made to him. And, and he, like I said, I think it's a sympathy thing. But he didn't say no. Yeah. But he didn't say so, no. So I'm I I was I got lost in the beginning. So they are roommates. They're mm, not yes. in a relationship. No. Because it's they're, they're just because, friends. So it's, it's interesting because YouTube will have you on all types of streets just watching stuff. And there's a couple on YouTube called the Clements. And they're African. They live in mm-hmm. Africa. And there is a is a thing that's called an interabled couple. Now I'm not saying that's what we're speaking about, but it, it goes along with it. And that's mm-hmm. that's kind of what the so the wife in the relationship is the able body person and the husband has a disability. And this mm-hmm. is some of the stuff that they talk about, like, you know, drawing boundary lines or, you know, are you are you obligated to really help this person? Now, they are married. So there's a certain level of obligation there. But right. if you're friends or not, I mean, roommates, because we were placed together. Did you know any, each other right. at, before this yeah, or right. something? But I think that there are lines that you don't cross on either side. Um, and me giving you a hand job. Is not is a line that I'm not crossing. Um, I feel for you, but I'm not gonna feel on you. And it's just <laughs> I just can't. I know when that I was. I told you I was you waiting on Nate. Like I know he was gonna break it down. But these, this. but I'm telling you, these types of relationships happen all the time where you get. I, I don't know. I don't even know how to say this without you know being disrespectful. But no, like hire, like you said, hire him somebody who can do it once a week or something, or you know, hook him up on one of the one of the like apps or you know chat lines or something. Call somebody. It may be a little risky, but you know, somebody out there do it. You know, yeah, but some hot ass coed out there who would do it. But that's 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 goes you know me helping you butt your shirt in the morning or you know rolling you down to the cafeteria there's certain things that you could do you know that's not gonna kill your day but it's gonna kill my vibe to know that every I know, you know they have other to go, they day have to roll them down there with his come on your shirt yeah. <laughs> oh, like that's, that's gonna kill your vibe oh, yeah. right that's that's gonna kill my vibe to know that that's part of my responsibility for you and i want to know you know who was doing this before i was doing you asked me to do it you know i think you need to go whatever happened between you and that person you need to hook back up with them or a college campus ain't where you belong because this ain't this ain't normal unless that's what your 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 thing is your your freak zone is but that ain't mine so i i don't know what to tell you mm. i I've, i was trying to listen and follow along but <laughs> you just took me off like <laughs> you want me to be what <laughs> uh-uh, no, we're not even roommates no more after that. Because that's. Mm-mm. But I think that I think the big part of this is what Jana said before: is that this person mm-hmm. is considering it. Mm-hmm. So I think they might be down for it. It sounds like they was sitting over in the corner, mm-hmm. 
waiting for the mm-hmm. opportunity. Like they were like, no, man, if I can but but that, and I'm not saying lying, but, but I'm no, not saying but, disabled people are tricky. But I've had disabled friends who like make you dependent or make themselves dependent on you. Yeah, and it's really tough when you don't want to be their friend no more. You don't want to do the thing anymore. You get obligated into doing these things and. That's, I'm no, and, and, no. And, and, button and I, your shirt, going to get you something to eat, you know, even drawing your bath. But I'm not, no, no hand job. And and like that's where our lines of friendship. And stop. the way Nate is saying definitively, no, hell no. I, I but I, I, I have my lines. Mm-hmm. I have my. This is this is a line too far. And as I'm pointing yeah. out, this person is definitely doesn't, yeah. doesn't have that. So, but as Jana is saying, it sounds like maybe there may be an attraction there, so that's where the hesitation right. may be. But, but then I don't want you to see that I'm enjoying giving you a hand job. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I would even ask the question why wouldn't he just do it then? He is right. That's my question. Well, I mean, that's that's the answer. If you want to do it, if you don't, don't, don't. because they might be exposed, or they might, because I don't know, we don't know the gender, but. We, they might be ex- exposing themselves by going along with it because they may find enjoyment out of it. Now, I'm giving you a hand job Where and myself a hand job. Like, that's just. <laughs> Uh, this is too much. I don't know where y'all found these stories. <laughs> but, yeah, in the uh, mailbag. In uh, <laughs> right. Uh, well, whoever they are, I would like to know what your final choice was. I would like to know what brought you to make whatever the decision is. This is unresolved for me, and I'm not going to be able to sleep until I know. So, please help me out. Give us a follow-up. We'll be back. That's what Gavin means to travel in the first place. Right. Shows more love to the LGBTQ than we are you radio.com. Fell in love with the boy next door. He don't love me anymore. He don't love me like before. Now I hate that boy next door. Yeah. But I swear you never seen it in your life. The urban sound of pride. We are you radio.com. We're going to need therapy after this. One. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen. This is We Are You Morning Crew, as if you didn't know already. Uh, and it is George, Jana, Nate, and Nova. Free Hello. advice is what we're giving out today, ladies and gentlemen. It is free advice each and every Friday. Now, just in case you don't know, you are implored, invited to participate in this by sending us your business. I mean, your email. I mean, your questions. And um, send them to info at weareyouradio.com. That's info at weareyouradio.com. And uh, in the uh, description, let us know it is free advice. We will keep your name anonymous or synonymous, whichever you prefer, and uh, read those out and give you our advice, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute now. What is we doing? You yeah, anybody know. catch that? I'm not, sure. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of not even sure what we're doing now. I don't. I don't know if I agree with any of that, but uh, y'all know y'all. Oh, you giving hand doing. jobs, but you don't. <laughs> 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 look, at, look, at, look at Nate. Here come Nate. Look at Nate. Here, here come Nate. All oh, at the end of the show. Nate, go back to sleep now. Uh, oh and God. our last letter of the day reads uh, thusly: A woman I dated only a few times brought her mother with her on the third date to a movie. She told me that she was bringing her, and I told her to please don't do that. But she brought her anyway. After the movie, I was too uncomfortable to agree to have lunch with both of them when they offered, so I politely declined. We never said that the date would include lunch anyway to begin with, just the movie. 
She started acting flaky and then ghosted me after that day. I now feel guilty that I didn't have lunch with her and her mom despite my discomfort, but should I really feel guilty? I barely knew her and would have agreed to lunch if her mother didn't tag along. Maybe I dodged a bullet since it's not normal behavior for a grown-up to bring their parent on a date. Um, and she clearly crossed the boundary after I told her to please not bring her mother. Just for context, uh, I am a 38-year-old male. She is a 40-year-old female. Mm. So these are not young people. We are you, morning crew. What should I do? Help, help, help. I let y'all go, you know. You know, Nate, you wait. I want to hear from <laughs> Nate first. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean stuff like this is amusing to me because you went along with it. You stayed. You went along with the date when when she showed up with her mom. Like if I picked her up and her mom got in the car too, or we met, I'm leaving. They are <laughs> obviously there on a date, and they don't need me. Like this, so savage. I love it. Mm, mm. <laughs> well, why would you stay? Like, first of all, if she's forty, that means her mom at least fifty or sixty. Well, sixty, hopefully, is so, old. Like, why would you? What? What? What are y'all talking about on this date? What? What's going to happen? Wait, so that's the thing in the movie. You don't have to talk. Yeah, but he, am I paying for you he, and your mom? Am I paying for you and your mom? He didn't say that. He didn't. He and didn't. not only that, yeah. I, I've already made a, a, a verbal request that you not bring your mom. And you're going to bring your mom anyway. Like, F you. This is my mama. We on a date. Okay. So he like, I'm going to see yeah. this movie and then I'm going home. No, I ain't going to lunch with y'all. And that's a, that's a clear indication of what's going to happen if this relationship goes any further. Yeah, I don't think be... you feel guilty. I mean, I think yeah. parameters. I think he dodged the bullet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> because like, oh, clearly, yeah. clearly, you was about to be in a relationship with with your her mama and uh, her. Yeah, yeah, clearly, yeah. Clearly, yes. clearly, clearly. Yes. Yeah. They yeah, already let you know that. they was part of the deal. I'm good. So I'm good. Boo. Please don't. Mm. And she's ghosting you, so you know, just keep moving. Shoot. <laughs> you dodged the bullet. Nope. You dodged the <laughs> bullet. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine what Three life bands. would be like? She would be in your business. Y'all on y'all mm -hmm. having well, in your bed. Yeah. yeah. And you 40. Well, at least then you wouldn't have to worry about giving no hand jobs then. You know, oh wow. Well, right. Well, you already have the help that you need. No. <laughs> no hand jobs for mom. No. No. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you never had a mother daughter combo? Oh my God. What? <sighs> Is that weird? That's weird. Too, I thought right? we was gonna make. Yeah. It, I thought we were gonna make yeah. it through this segment Larry. without. No, yeah, we, we did. Yeah. We made it through. We had a forty-year-old woman bring her mama on a date. I mean, you know, <laughs> it was weird from the beginning, George. Well, we man, okay, weird. we got here. You're right. Yeah, that's yeah. Wait a minute. Mm. Yeah, because I mean, clearly, <sighs> I, I'm good. Let's let's assume for a moment that she just has had some really bad experiences with relationships and maybe she just trusts her mom's you know um uh, mm. instinct opinion whatever it is but you know that um, but that meeting comes way down the road and you don't invite I her on the day wouldn't have brought her to the not to the third day and especially not when i asked you not, not to, to, you right. to and you just show up with her you already mm. don't listen good right but speak i mean even even if she has gone through some tough things as her mom you should say i'm not going on a date with you that's weird but, but that but, speaks to the mother's capacities and or faculties. To both of theirs, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mama was probably okay with it because Mama probably want to keep her all to herself. You know, there's relationships like that out here. Oh, mm -hmm. she just wanted to go to the movie too. What? <laughs> well, well, I wonder if she told yeah. her mother though that he didn't want her to come. Mm. Probably not. Probably not. Mm -mm. Mm, probably not. All I know is. If I ask you not to bring your mama to on a date and you bring your mama anyway, this we good, we good, because there's no boundaries. You have, you have. So which date is appropriate for the the, the parents to come? First, Unless I say it. Well, I mean, it has to be on a date. Yeah, thing. yeah. Because it's not a date. Because even if I, you know, eventually when you meet your sig others, that's a thing. You're a thing. People, right? Like that signifies something that your your relationship moving to a, the next, next level, level, whatever that next level is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And typically, you don't call that a, a date. date, right? That would just be 
I'd, mom, I'd like to meet your mom. Right? That would just be dinner. Yeah. It would just be, <laughs> you know, I want you to come meet my family. It wouldn't be like, hey, let's go on a date. And then you just show up with all your family. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I brought my cousins. You going to pay for them too, right? Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. Where we going? To my family oh. reunion. Oh, wait. That's not a date. That's your family reunion. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Something got lost in translation. And what else do you bring yeah. your mama to? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of no questions doubt. there. So there's a lot of questions there. A lot, a lot of questions there. They was trying to get a threesome. They was hoping he was going. Oh to go. my god! And there we go again. All right, Earl. Yes. yes play, 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 play. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if you have a question, we we are going to hold the questions, and Jan is going to read them from now. We're not going to let no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna start doing voices like George. Watch, watch. It's you guys enjoy your weekend. We got to get on out of here and uh, have a great weekend. Say goodbye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Be safe. Oh, we are you.